shot the B12. No. Why am I shaking this? Hey y'all, it's your Anita, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have got a bopper flop, but kind of a interesting bopper flop. This is a WTF bopper flop. And the reason why it's a WTF bopper flop is because the product I'm trying today is new to me and it's kind of a new concept to me. I've never tried anything like this before. Uh, I'm sure there is a product kind of like this on the market out right now, but this is the only one I have seen. So today I'm going to be talking about the new Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer in the shade, what is this? Clear Canvas. I don't know if this comes in different shades, but uh, yeah. So this is new. I don't know how new. Uh, there are a few videos on YouTube. I did not really get to watch any reviews on this, so I just saw it in Ulta and was like, the hell is this? And was like, well, I kind of want to try it. So I bought it, <laughs> among a few other things. But that was um, one of the things I bought. Let me see if I can find my receipt so I can show you guys the price. So, okay, so this retail for $7.99. I had bought a bunch of other um, non-prestige products. So I was able to use my $3.50 coupon off of $15. So, um... I got a dollar and change off of this and it came up to like $6.87 was my total. So if you're planning on spending $15 along with buying this, then I suggest you use a coupon. But it retails for $7.99 as is. So it's not expensive. Anything under $10 definitely qualifies for inexpensive and drugstore. So the whole premise behind this primer is it's just a jelly consistency. Here I am looking at the back thinking, oh, I'm going to find what it's going to, it's what it says it's going to do, its claims. And no, that's not what's on the back. The ingredients are on the back though. So apparently in here is water, butylene, glycol, PEG, 240, HDI, copolymer, bis, oh goodness. What is this? Diclethetrate? Dicle Cha, uh, <laughs> and this isn't like you know how like people say beauty YouTubers can't read, which I think is kind of funny because I always when I watch a lot of like beauty YouTubers I'm like why can't y'all pronounce these things? Now these things I understand why people can't pronounce because it's like that's a lot. But um, what else is in here? Glycerin. Okay, I'm I'm looking at as soon as I saw glycerin I'm like. Glycerin usually dries out the skin. So I'm a little like, in what context is glycerin in here? Uh, yeah, soybean oil. Yeah, there's a, there's a sodium hyaluronate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's got a lot of stuff in here. Um, let me see if I can go on Wet n Wild's website and see if I can find out what this claims it will do for you. Because usually when you have a primer or any type of face product, it'll be like, hey, this is what this is going to do for you. But it don't say this on this. <laughs> and it didn't come in a box. It just came as is. Like, you just buy it like this. Which is also what leads to it being so inexpensive because they get to save on packaging. Here we go. New Mega Jelly Primer. It only has two reviews on the website. And dang, this shit got almost six and a half. It's got six and a half stars off of two reviews. <laughs> okay, so um, the description is introducing Wet n Wild's new Mega Jelly Primer, the hottest new way to prep and prime your skin. Supermodels wear, swear by this bouncy jelly-like formula that dries to a polished powder finish, taking your skin from lackluster to lustrous in seconds, non-greasy, non-oily, and oh so soothing. The Jelly Primer TM, oh, I almost said Jelly Primer TM, I almost read the damn trademark like a dummy. Um, the primer treats your skin like the delicate diva she is with glycerin and D-panthenol for deep hydration. The cooling formula calms and restores the skin's vitality so you'll always look cool, calm, and collected no matter how crazy the day may get. So it's benefits. Cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, fragrance-free, 
vegan. And basically, you just start with clean hands, which I have, a moisturized face, which I have, you scoop a dime sized amount of primer on a brush, or use your fingertips to gently, to gently the jelly like, what? To gently the jelly like formula around your face. I'm assuming that's supposed to say smooth the jelly like formula, but they just dropped that in there. So, and they said the formula will dry to a smooth texture after a few short moments, revealing a prepped and primed surface ready for application of your favorite foundation or beauty products. So, yeah, this basically claims to do what every primer does. Um, <laughs> I just thought maybe because it's a jelly, this might do something else. Of course, you open it up and you've got a foil protective layer. So we're just going to peel that up. Okay. okay. So let's see. It says it's fragrance, fragrance free. It's got a slight alcohol scent to it. Only slight. And this is what it looks like in the container. So it's completely clear. Okay, if you tip it, it will fall out that jar. <laughs> but yeah, so, but it's gelatinous. <laughs> so, um, okay. Oh, and if you, of course, if you touch it, you will disturb it. Well, I was over there holding it. Oh, okay. So, I wish I had a brush I could dip in here, but all of my flat brushes are not clean at the moment, so I will not be using them. And I really would hate to go in here with my fingers, but I just don't have a choice. So, at least my hands are clean. So I'm just going here. Ooh. Here I was like, oh, I'll pick it up with the back of my nail. No, like literally I just went to do like that and it just, nothing came off on my finger. Wow, nothing came off on my finger. And then it just re, just reshaped itself. So uh, here we go. Uh, I got it under my nails. If you have nails, it is best if you find something else, like a spatula of some type, to take this up. Okay, on the face, I don't smell anything. It has no smell. Um, it feels... Like, as soon as I started smoothing it, it kind of felt more like a lotion than a gel. So it does... Kind of changed the texture a bit. It does feel a little different. It doesn't dry down super quick or anything like that, which is good. Cause I hate when some primers just get dry a little too quickly. It's always a little annoying, but it feels really good on my skin. Real kind of moisturizing in a way. Sticky. It does leave it sticky. Not sticky, but tacky, which is what you want. You want your price, your face primer to leave your face a little tacky so that way your foundation has something to grip onto. It kind of feels like a hair gel. Wow, that kind of laid my edge right there. <laughs> so I got the primer on. It's really tacky, which is good. You want for your primer to be tacky. Doesn't feel greasy any, in any way. It dries down pretty quick. I don't know about that. <clears throat> or it's saying it kind of takes on like a powder texture. I don't know about that. Um, it still felt, it took on more of like a lotion kind of feel more than anything. So I'm going to put on my foundation and uh, finish my fa face as I normally would. And I'll be back.
So far it looks pretty good. I use the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and as you guys know I am in the shade Cappuccino. Um, I need to remember to color correct. Like this spot hasn't gone away just yet and I keep forgetting to color correct every time I put on my foundation because it's not really a habit of mine. But other than that my face looks good. My foundation feels good. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. This foundation tends to kind of have that lightweight feel anyway for me. But there's just something about it today that's just not, it just feels really just invisible. So, um, hmm. Maybe it's the primer. We'll see. Um, my pores look pretty small. They look really blurred. So, yeah, so far I'm impressed. The only area I'm kind of like, is like right here, but... Yeah, I think I just need to blend some more right here. But yeah, looks good. So I'm going to set my face and finish up um, off camera before um, I start to crease because y'all know around my mouth always creases. So yeah, I'll be right back after I finish that. Okay, so I'm back. My face looks and feels really good to finish up I use my usual things like I highlighted with under my eyes with my Tarte Shape Tape um, I use my Colourpop bronzer I use the ABH um, blush palette I actually tried two new products um, I use the ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray to set my face and I also use the Sunset Aurora Loose Powder to highlight and this is ABH man all right I see y'all this was a this I don't like this pump I really don't like this spray pump but um once you get a couple of test sprays out it work it's it's pretty good but I am like damn face sitting sitting I feel like I have nothing on my face when I did put on my powders instead of using my color pop color pop powder today I used my morphe um powder for my whole face and after I put on the morphe powder my face felt really tight so of course you know I always hit my face with some chill spray and it just still felt tight and usually I don't have that problem with my morphe powder or this foundation so maybe it might have been the primer I don't know but other than that my face looks really smooth I look really flawless okay all right this is a this is a soft bop I don't soft bop I don't I was thinking about doing a wear test but guys honestly and truly I I don't really like I want to do a wear test but I know for a fact what's going to happen I'm going to the movies tonight and I'm going to see Pet Cemetery with my boyfriend and I know I'm going to come back mad late and I'm going to be super tired and I'm not going to be able to give you guys a comprehensive wear test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some video of my face when I come back. I'm not going to sit and talk because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to be like delirium. That is my new name. So I'm going to take some video of my face when I come back to show you guys what it looks like after a couple hours. It is currently 631 in the evening um and 632 so yeah in a few hours i'll take some video and then i'll do a voiceover of me looking at the video basically seeing what i like and what i don't like about my face at the end of the night and yeah yeah i think that'll work better yeah because i know what's gonna happen i'm gonna come back tonight and i'm gonna be like uh, yank a lash off yank a lash off falls asleep immediately i know that's gonna happen so yeah but Stay tuned for the video and the voiceover of how I feel about my face. So far, I'm loving it. So far, my face looks great. So I'm going to go take some pictures and I'll see y'all later. Hey guys. So I am back. I decided to, I guess, just talk to y'all about this primer real quick. Yeah. Mega Jelly Primer. Um, went on very smooth. Online, it said it kind of would turn into like a 
powdery texture but it didn't it felt more like a moisturizer versus like a powder so that was fine um it didn't have any claims about how it was gonna smooth your pores but it said that it was essentially like tra it'll transform your skin and i'm like that's a lot of things that you can do here and there's a lot of things that can go wrong by saying you're gonna transform my skin but i will say that after immediately finishing my makeup i was actually like yo this looks good <laughs> so a couple cons my face felt really tight and really dry after i had applied my powder products and i didn't apply different powder products than i normally did i used my i normally would i used my morphe um setting powder the press one for my whole face and i used my ColourPop banana powder loose powder for my under eyes and that's usually about where it's you know begins and ends for face powders like that and my face felt hella tight really really tight so i hit it with some chill spray because y'all know i love to spray my face with some chill spray in between powder products to make sure everybody melts down and sets into my face and it still felt tight oddly enough which is weird so um i ended up setting my whole face today with the abh dewy set spray and that is good I think that is what the only thing that really combated that weird tightness and dryness that I was feeling um another con I, f I wish this wasn't a pump I really wish this wasn't a pump because I don't like the idea of constantly like digging my fingers in here and whatnot you know I, I just don't like it because it gets unsanitary so um if you're going to pick this up I definitely suggest picking it up with a brush or I mean if hey if you want to use your fingers then by all means you can but I just suggest not doing so because it just gets nasty really quick um it didn't get cloudy or anything like that after I put my hand my fingers in here today so it still looks pretty pristine it reshapes just fine after you've disturbed it no problem but I really do wish this came in a pump just for sanit just for sanitary purposes that's about it um for pros my face looked great it looked really good this did not dry out my skin when I initially put it on and let it sit it was very tacky so it gave my foundation something to stick to um, I didn't notice any difference in like necessarily my foundation like applying fast or anything like that that was pretty normal but my pores did look a lot smaller and more blurred so that is a plus it didn't claim it was gonna blur my pores but it ended up doing it anyway so happy surprise um the price point you can't beat it was only seven dollars and change and like i said if you're planning on spending fifteen dollars or more in ulta on non-prestigious brands and you want to pick this up then definitely use your three dollars and fifty cent coupon coupon off or your points that you collect as a member or whatever of ulta and you should you'll be able to get it a little cheaper um i use my coupon and i got this for got this for six and change versus seven and change but it's under ten dollars so it is drugstore so if you do want to pick this up and try it out to see for yourself you're not gonna break the bank to do so um let's see further than that that's about it like it did a good job so i'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can just kind of see my face now um the time is currently midnight 12 oh two i didn't really do a ton of stuff after i put my makeup on i went outside and i took some pictures it was quite warm my face didn't sweat at all um and i don't know how much of that was the primer or how much of it was my abh dewy set spray so i'm not even gonna go out here and say this primer is gonna make your face not sweat at all like because I, I don't know that for sure but um i was home um i went and i hung out with my friend for a little bit we were outside I was in my car my face seemed to be okay I did get some breakage or breakage or some creasing around my mouth but that's normal I was out there kikiing it up with my best friend so it makes sense for this to happen and this always happens around my mouth so I wasn't even worried about it so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and let y'all see my face okay so my nose is shiny and my I'm standing in front of my ring light so I'm pretty close to it and it doesn't feel oily per se which is interesting because lately my noise my nose has been getting kind of oily but this is my face up close looks pretty good and all this creasing I need to figure out something to, that'll just like n help all here not crease because that's annoying um, I did eat as well but my makeup is still intact after I ate my burger and it still looks good 
Um, and actually, yeah, it looks good. I'm creasing less under my eyes than I normally would. So, hey, that's a plus. Didn't do anything different there. Just used my shape tape, blended it with my beauty blender, set it with my, my uh, ColourPop powder, and my forehead. So yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna see if I can insert some videos of that I took right after I took I did my makeup, you know, playing around, flexing for Snapchat and whatnot. See if I can insert those somewhere in here so that way you can see like directly what my face looked like up close after I finished my makeup and whatnot. But um as of right now, this is a bop for me. This is a full bop, it's affordable, it's you know, it works a bop. Only thing I wish for sure is this came in a pump. Wet and wild. If you're out there somewhere listening, put this in a pump and I will buy it in bulk. I'll go to Sam's and buy it by the case or something. Like, yes, because this is really good. I really, really like this a lot. I liked how it looked on my skin without my makeup. It didn't leave a white cast or anything like that. And I'm sold. Like, I really, really like this a lot. It is a full bot for me. If you would like to go out there and try it, definitely step out to your local Ulta, Target, and I believe also Walmart is carrying it as well, and pick it up for yourself. And let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure to click the description box. I will include a, the Ulta link and the Wet n Wild link for this product, as well as you'll see all of my social media handles down there and all that jazz. So, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.